In March 1981, Al-Dufakar led by Mortaza Bhutto hijacked a Pakistan International Airlines flight en route to Peshawar from Karachi, and diverted it to Kabul. The hijacking went on for 13 days, during which Major Tariq Rahim was shot to death. The hijackers mistakenly believed Rahim to be the son of General Rahimuddin Khan. Tariq Rahim has been a DC with Mr. Bhutto and has been transferred to foreign service on the reference of Mr. Bhutto. He was very well known to the Bhutto family but Mortaza felt he had deceived his father. Rahim was executed following Mortaza Bhutto's conferring with CAD chief Muhammad Najibullah. The execution forced the Zia-ul-Haq regime to accept the demands of the hijackers, releasing dozens of Pakistan People's Party and other leftist political prisoners languishing in Pakistani jails. Major Tariq Rahim's body was thrown from the plane on the tarmac where he bled to death. Al Dufakar and PSF activist Salamullah Tipu, along with three other PSF militants, hijacked the plane. The plane was first forced to land at Kabul airport, and was then flown to Damascus. Although undertaken to avenge Dufakar Ali Bhutto's hanging by Zia, the hijacking was at once condemned by the young co chairperson of the PPP, Benazir Bhutto, who was languishing in a Karachi jail. The hijackers demanded that 55 political prisoners be released. These included PPP, PSF, NSF and some Marxist Giala activists. Zia ul Haq hesitated and Tipu shot dead Captain Tariq Rahim, whom he mistakenly believed to be the son of then martial law administrator General Rahimuddin Khan on the plane accusing him of being a part of Zia's coup against Bhutto. He wasn't. Around 50 prisoners were eventually released by the Zia ul Haq regime. Tipu was thrown in a Kabul prison and eventually executed in 1984 for murdering an Afghan national. His body was never returned, and he is said to have been buried somewhere near Kabul. The successful hijacking not only saw many of the released men join AZO, but the organization also welcomed a whole new batch of recruits who traveled across Pakistan's tribal areas and entered Afghanistan. AZO described itself as a socialist guerrilla outfit, but its main purpose was avenging Bhutto's death. The organization was mostly made up of young PSF militants, and members of small left-wing groups such as the communist Mazdor Kisan Party. One of the three American hostages on the flight, Fred Hubble, ran for the position of governor of the state of Iowa in the 2018 LA election. 